Hello, good morning. It's Wednesday. I'm vlogging today and I'm gonna have my tea and my breakfast. So I've got toast and some blueberries and banana and um, my tea. Did I mention my tea? I don't even know. I'm so tired. And a big cup of water. And uh, I'm taking the cat to the vet this morning. He probably knows something's up because I have not given him his breakfast yet, which is usually the first thing I do when I come down to the kitchen, but I haven't done that. I'm taking him in this morning because yesterday he just seemed like he was hiding a lot in the basement and like more than usual. And when we called him to come upstairs, he walked up the stairs really slowly. Um, his tummy looks kind of extra round to me. I don't know, I think I'm just being overly protective and overly worried. Um, he's been eating fine. We like felt his tummy and felt around, you know, nothing seems to cause him any pain or bother him. I don't, I'm not sure I really believe something's wrong at this point, but I'm taking him anyway because I'm an overprotective pet parent. And he's currently using the new scratcher thing that my husband and I cobbled together for him. It is not fancy, but we made him this like plank scratcher. Um, yeah, hi bug. Okay, I was just um, up because we had a delivery, so. Uh, yes, that's the plan, vet this morning. And it's just a drop off. Um, they're not really sure when they can take him today, but um, they're gonna like fit him in. And then maybe I'll stop at Home Goods and Target on the way home. Oh, I actually need to go to Ulta because I have lost my eyelash curler. How I can lose that, I don't know. I just had it the other weekend. Then I, because we were out of town, and then I unpacked my makeup when I got home and I cannot find it. So I might stop at Ulta. I mean, I really like like having an eyelash curler and I use it, I mean, sometimes <laughs> when I just wanna curl my lashes, even if I'm not putting on makeup because I don't often put on makeup and then maybe to Home Goods and Target just to see what fun Halloween stuff is there. Hi, little guy. We're here. Yes, you gotta go in. I'm sorry, I know you're very unhappy with mommy. Mm-hmm. He's been meowing every few seconds like that the whole ride here. Mm, I know. I'm sorry, but we just need to get you a little checkup. So I just got down the street from the vet. I dropped the cat off, drove down the street. Um, I'm like five minutes away. And they called and said that, um, I mean, the vet's trying to be really reasonable about, uh, reasonable about this. So we don't spend money we don't have to spend doing blood work, x-rays, all these things. So he felt around his stomach and like his, ab his whole abdomen area. And he said it feels totally fine to him. They know that he went number one because um, he went in his cage. And that's why I put a big towel down in his, in his carrier because he tends to go potty on the way to the vet or, or just anytime he's in the car. Um, so he went number one, so that's good. Uh, and, and the doctor just doesn't feel anything that seems concerning. And he doesn't like, Hugo doesn't seem like he's in any pain. Um, he said he's breathing quickly, but that could purely be from stress, which is my guess. He's just stressed out. So there really doesn't seem to be any reason to do all this blood work and x-rays and things. And plus he was in earlier this year and had his teeth cleaned and he had blood work then. So, and that was just a few months ago maybe. And his blood was all fine then. So we're gonna take him home. And uh, if anything comes up, seems different, like he's having any more issues, you know, with the round tummy, I just, I don't know. That's what scares me because he's had kidney stones or something in the past where he could not walk because he could not go to the bathroom and we had to take him to the emergency vet. And that was a very big, like scary, expensive deal. So that doesn't seem to be the case. He seems okay. They looked at him for all of five minutes. He's fine. and. But this appointment's gonna cost, oh boy. But that's what you do for your pets because I'd rather be safe than sorry. 
and he's very important to us. And his sister, um, our little girl cat passed away earlier this year. And so I think I'm probably a touch overprotective, but I'd rather be that way than not care. So um, I was on my way to Alta, but scrap that. I'll have to go after I drop him off back at home. Now I'm on my way to Alta. I got home with the cat and that was all fine. Sat down on the couch for a little while and then I had to take a nap. I think I napped for about an hour. I'm not really sure. I talked to my psychiatrist. I think that's the right one. Psychiatrist yesterday. Uh, I had a regular, just one of my like regular appointments with him to discuss how I'm feeling and how I think it's going on in the medicine. And I told him about how I'm so tired. And I am. I'm tired every day. And after I wake up in the morning, within, for sure, like within two hours, for sure, I can be totally ready for a nap. And I don't think really that it's a matter of that I need more sleep, that I'm like waking up too early in the morning. I'm just tired a lot. And then if I make it past that without taking a nap, usually about three, four in the afternoon is when it really starts to hit me again that I need a nap. And of course, if I sleep at all around like dinner time or whatever, I'm just, you know, I'll never get back to sleep. Like I'll stay up too late that night. So what I'm going to do is go get some blood work done. I did this a few months ago and everything was fine, but we're gonna have me do some more blood work again, just to double check that there's nothing glaringly obvious in some whatever they test in standard blood work. Oh, and he, I think he's doing standard blood work or did he request thyroid? I think he requested a thyroid panel instead. Sometimes having an underactive thyroid can make you tired and affect, you know, anxiety and depression and that kind of thing. So um, we're gonna we're gonna try and see. I'm hoping that's something that doesn't last forever while on the anxiety medicine, but it is something that I'm willing to accept. If I have to and this doesn't change, I would rather have my anxiety feel better than have an easier time staying awake during the day. Okay, I found eyelash curlers. They have some regular ones, and then they have this pink one, like regular color, silver, black, like rose gold. Anywho, I found this pink one. I have to have this pink one. I'm getting into trouble looking at things that are pretty. I don't need them. They're very pretty. Okay, so I'm done at Ulta and I got a few things there. Here's my Ulta bag. And then I also popped into Ross. Got a couple of things there. So I'll show you what I got when I get home. I think I'm gonna stop at Home Goods also. I don't know what to do. I mean, obviously I really want to. And I'm like always looking for pink stuff. I don't know. I think if I go, it has to be in and out. Really quick, I have to like move, move, move. I love these, like big gingerbread houses, but I'm afraid I'd get one it would break because they're pretty fragile, I think. They do have some pink pumpkins and stuff, um, but it's just not exactly the right shades of pink, but close. And I appreciate that they have a whole pink like stand. How are you feeling? Good? You probably like a treat or something. Yes. Hi. You're just gonna wander back and forth behind mommy? Okay. All right. Um, okay, so I'm home from some shopping. And let's do a little haul uh, so I can share what I got. You can help too if you want to. Bug. Okay, back and forth he goes. Okay, so first stop was Alta. And um, I, of course, went in for one thing, and that was the eyelash curler. And I got a few more things. So anyway, the eyelash curler is um, this pink one. It says Revlon and Barbie. I mean, it's pink, so 
It was the best looking eyelash curler they had. And I also got these hair ties, which match my new hair color a little bit better than most of the like, like I have a bunch of black rubber bands for my hair because I've always had dark hair until this year. So I got some of these and I really like how they feel and how they stretch. So I hope that those work out. Um, and then I got this um, glycolic acid 7% toner by The Ordinary and some nail things. So what do you think? You love them? I think you do. Um, so I got this apparently reusable set of uh, like press on nails. I didn't know they could be reusable. So these are by Glamnetic and they had this pink Hello Kitty set which is so cute. And then they also have a nail glue. So I got their brush on nail glue. And these are pricey for press on nails, but again, it says reusable and it gives you directions on the back on how to take them off. You like soak your nails and then use like a little stick to gently like pry them off. Um, and then I guess since you're just soaking them in water that the nail stays intact and you can reuse it so i really really hope that's the case i think these are very pretty and they had some other nice designs in the store and if these work out well i would really like to look up um, other glamnetic designs so that was it for alta <laughs> hi bug i know you're just you seem like you want a lot of attention i'd be happy to do lots of kisses as soon as we're done yes lots of pets and kisses yes Okay, so then at Ross, I got two things. Um, this is the first thing I got because I'm a child and I like things that are little and cute and pink. So these um, are like little backpacks. It's just one, but there's a collection of them and the brand is Real Littles. And it's like a little pink bunny backpack. I just think it's adorable and I can put some of my purse stuff in there. Like it can be like a little bag for change or extra things in my purse. I don't know. I thought it was cute. And then I also got this um, pink glass loaf pan, but it's very light pink. I think you can tell it's pink here on the video, but it is. And I thought it was a nice shade and a pretty design on the glass as well. And this is Anchor brand. So yeah, it's kind of big. It's called a loaf dish. So it's a little bit I think wider than a typical loaf pan, maybe, but I liked it. So I got that. Okay, then I did pop into Home Goods and I found these heart um, like egg rings. And so when I make my breakfast sandwich in the morning with the scrambled eggs, like on the thin little bagel thing, uh, I think it would be nice to have them more round, like to make my egg more round, like the shape of the little round bread. But um, once I saw these heart ones, I'm like, forget the circle. I'm gonna go for heart shaped and that will be just as good. So I'm gonna try that and I'm gonna hope that it works and that the eggs don't seep out under the edges once they're in the pan. And then I also got these light pink um, silicone kitchen utensils. So there's a spatula and a spoon. And because that's silicone, it's also kind of spatula-y. Like I have another silicone spoon and I really like it. So they're nice, light pink. And then I popped into Target, just a very quick perusal of the dollar section. And um, I don't know, I just feel like over the last few years, Target's clothes have gotten weirder and just less cute and less appealing. And then their dollar section just, I don't know, isn't as full of cute stuff anymore in my opinion, but I found this, which I like. So it's a little coffin shelf and they just call it a novelty wood shelf, but I think it's supposed to look like a coffin. And so I was thinking that I could paint this pink and then it would be a pink Halloween decoration. So it's like, I don't do a lot of DIY and crafty stuff, but I could start, I could learn and I can start. If I could find things like this that I can make pink, then I think I'd like that. So, um, was it? Oh, and that that was in the dollar section. You know that things can range up to like five dollars. So this was five dollars. 
And that was everything. Was that everything, Bug? That was everything. He's probably waiting for some ham. Uh, sometimes I give him a little ham or turkey in a toy, like a little puzzle toy. So he's probably waiting for that because he is spoiled and I like to give that to him and then he expects it all the time. So I'm going to go um, put some of this stuff away and then I don't know what else. I don't know what else I have to do. We have leftovers for dinner um, tonight because I made pot roast last night. So we'll have pot roast leftovers. Oh, I've got dishes to do and laundry. That's what I have to do. All right, so it's dinner time now and we're having pot roast. And I don't know if I should say that I took two naps today. It's embarrassing. I took a second nap because I was that tired. And I'm yawning a little bit less now, but I was definitely yawning a whole bunch right when I woke up. I don't want to take two naps. It just happens. And someone suggested that I can share that. People, oh, I've seen it on, um, I've seen it on TikTok. People like streaming themselves sleeping. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually going to do that. I've seen people, I don't really understand what, why they're doing it and how they can sleep through, I don't know. And people, at least on, on TikTok, they want people to leave like, I don't know, flowers or hearts or something. I don't really get it. But I don't think I'm gonna be doing that, but it'd be perfect for someone that sleeps as much as me. Um, so now we're having dinner. I got more laundry going. So I'm working on that. I worked a little bit on the dishes and um, now we're just hanging out. Are you going to play your game today? Probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. We got a PS5, and that's largely in preparation for two games. The one for me is Hogwarts Legacy, and you want to play the next Spider-Man whenever that comes around. Yep. So we got the PS5 because we each have a game, or have a game coming up at some point that we really want to play. But in the meantime, you've been playing Hori Horizons? Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West. I don't know, but he sits out here with me on the couch and plays in the evening, so it makes me very happy. I don't really know what other games, um, like kind of in the meantime, we could play on there. I don't want anything too scary for me. I want you to try that stray game, I think is what it's oh. called. The one with the cat. Oh, okay, there's some kind of cat game. Is it out? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a cat game. Maybe I could try a cat game. try the Glamnetics nails on tonight. They're pink and so cute and Hello Kitty and I really hope that they work and that I can put them on well. Whenever I put on acrylics, which I'm trying to get into, but I'm not very good at yet, um, they take a long time and I typically get glue on my skin and I'm not great at it yet, but I'm going to try for these and I'm going to try their brush on nail glue, which you had to buy separately. So I did. So does it have like a nail polish brush? Let's see, oh yeah, it does. It just looks like it would be for nail polish. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try and put these on and then I think I'll get ready for bed. But while I'm doing this, and also while I go lay down in bed, I'm going to be watching Only Murders in the Building season two. I finally got onto that and um, I'm already on episode four. I've been binging it tonight and it's good. I'm into it and I'm like definitely curious as to what the heck is going on. So if you have seen Only Murders in the Building season one or two, let me know what you think of it. Now I'm going to start the nails. I think I've got them all ready to go, all trimmed up. I'll just kind of check my cuticles, but otherwise they're super short. 
and ready to go. Alrighty, they're all on and here's the final look so there are two designs in this set one is just all pink and one is like kind of see-through-ish white and it has pink Hello Kitty bows so I have those two on my pointer and ring fingers and then the rest are just a solid pink and I really like them and up until now when I've been doing just my own nails at home, I've been using this size, like this exact kind of tube of nail glue, but this brush on one is so much better. This is so much easier. I mean, sure it's bigger, so if you wanna carry it around or travel with it, it'll take up a touch more space, but this is so much easier to use than this stuff. So if you're gonna try doing any of your own acrylic or I don't know what else to do, like any stick on, press on nail, glue on nail at home, um, I would recommend getting a brush on nail glue. They're kind of uh, uh, sharp on these square ends. So I, I took the file that was included and just kind of um, filed a little bit at the top, but I really don't want to cut them and I don't want to file them because I like the look. So I don't want to change the look or the shape of these. So I will see how these go. I'm not sure if I picked all my perfect sizes yet. And I believe there were 14 different nail si sizes in this pack. So I'm gonna try them and just hope I don't really <laughs> scratch or hurt myself with those little sharp edges. But these, I mean, these bow ones are just like the best, they're my favorite. And I would like a whole set of just the Hello Kitty bows. Like we could forego the solid pink even, I just want bows. Um, okay, so that's it. Now I'm gonna go get ready for bed, wash my face and brush my teeth and all that good stuff. And I am still watching. So I've been sitting here doing this. I've, I've been watching Only Martyrs in the Building and I'm just confused. I don't know. Um, wait, I've got my iPad here. I don't know what episode I'm on. Uh, I'm on episode five. Yeah, episode five. So um, yes, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you just kind of enjoy this vlog and hanging out with me. I know I don't have terribly exciting stuff going on and really exciting days, but that's fine with me. And this is just kind of a look at my regular life. So thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.